Let us now look at another example on finding the minimum value of the given trigonometric equation. And this question is from one of the earlier SSC exams. So example 9, 18 here says find the least value of 4 secant square theta plus 9 cosecant square theta. And the given answer options are 1, 19, 25 and 7. So clearly this equation here is not of the standard form, right? It is not in the form of a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta. Hence we cannot apply those formulae of, uh, you know, plus, or, uh, plus root over a square plus b square or minus root over a square plus b square to get the maximum or minimum value. So how do we do this? Least value of 4 secant square theta plus 9 cosecant square theta. Clearly least value here is nothing but the minimum value. We need to find out the minimum value of this equation. And the point to be noted is for such questions, they generally do not ask us to find out the maximum value. The reason being that secant theta and cosecant theta becomes undefined for a particular angle right so we can clearly say that the maximum value is not defined right it cannot be defined here but the minimum value can always be calculated right so generally they do not ask questions on maximum value but always on minimum value here right so let's see how to get the minimum value for the given equation here. now for such type of questions there is a standard process that we can apply or follow to get the required answer so let's look at that given equation is 4 secant square theta plus 9 cosecant square theta now let us try to use the basic trigonometric identities and expand this equation here so we can say secant square theta is 1 plus tan square theta whereas cosecant square theta is 1 plus cot square theta right so if we expand this what do we get 4 plus 4 tan square theta plus 9 plus 9 cot square theta all right now if we take uh, the sum of these two integers 4 plus 9 is 13 and we are left with two more terms 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta now since 13 is a constant we need not worry about that let us look at the remaining two terms 4 tan square theta and 9 cot square theta let us consider 4 tan square theta as a and 9 cot square theta as b let's assume these are two values a and b 4 tan square theta is a and 9 cot square theta is b now from the basics of progressions arithmetic and geometric progressions we know that the arithmetic mean of two values is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean right if there are two values a and b what is the arithmetic mean it is equal to a plus b by 2 and what about the geometric mean it is root a b now from the basics of uh, this knowledge and progressions we know that arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean right for any value of a and b arithmetic mean will always be greater than or equal to the geometric mean now if you look at the terms 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta let us try to take the arithmetic and geometric mean here right let us just consider this equation arithmetic mean greater than or equal to geometric mean what is a 4 tan square theta plus b 9 cot square theta now since we are calculating arithmetic mean let us divide this by 2 greater than or equal to root over a b right geometric mean is a b so 4 tan square theta 4 tan square theta into 9 cot square theta now if we try to simplify this equation we know that tan square theta into cot square theta is equal to 1 since these are reciprocal right tan square theta can be taken as 1 by cot square theta or cot square theta can be taken as 1 by tan square theta so tan square theta by tan square theta or in the other way cot square theta by cot square theta gets cancelled so what are we left with 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta divided by 2 will be greater than or equal to root over 4 into 9 right this is root 4 into 9 which is root 36 and what is root 36 this is equal to 6 now from this again 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta will be greater than or equal to 6 into 2 12 now that's the remaining part of the given equation right 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta from this uh, equation that is arithmetic mean being always greater than or equal to geometric mean we have got that 4 tan square theta plus 9 cot square theta should be greater than or equal to 12 now the question says find the least value so if you have to find the least value we should look at the least value for this part of the equation 
already we have a constant 13 now let us check what can be the minimum value for this part 4 times square theta plus 9 cot square theta from this if we know that this is greater than or equal to 12 it is clear that the minimum value for 4 times square theta plus 9 cot square theta will be 12 it cannot be less than 12 right this left hand side here cannot be less than 12 minimum 12 and more than that it can be more than that it can be 12 13 14 it can go up to infinity but it cannot be less than 12 the minimum has to be 12 so we can now say that the minimum of 4 times square theta plus 9 cot square theta equals to 12 let us substitute it here right since we are looking at minimum value so we can see the minimum will be 13 plus 12 that is equal to 25 so the minimum value for the given equation 4 secant square theta plus 9 cosecant square theta will be option c 25 here so this is an important method which we can follow to arrive at uh, the minimum value or the least value of the given trigonometric equation right the most important point here is arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean now we can generalize this uh, part here if you look at uh, the two terms a and b remember always uh, the trigonometric functions have to be reciprocals tan theta and cot theta are reciprocals right cot theta can be taken as 1 by tan theta or tan theta can be taken as 1 by cot theta why do they have to be reciprocals because only then when we calculate the arithmetic mean the two uh, functions or the two ratios get cancelled tan theta and cot theta gets cancelled otherwise uh, this will result nothing right we will not be able to come to a conclusion so for these two to get cancelled they have to be reciprocals it can be tan cot it can be sine cosec uh, cosecant or cos and secant reciprocals so that they get cancelled now the coefficients are 4 and 9 so root over 4 into 9 will give us root 36 which is 6 6 and the 2 in the denominator of arithmetic mean we'll get on this side so what do we get 2 into 6 12 so we can simply assume that you know uh, to generalize this part i can say that if it is let's say of the form uh, a into some trigonometric function uh, t plus b into some other trigonometric function t dash then what can be the minimum value understand uh, the condition here is t and t dash have to be reciprocals right t and t dash have to be reciprocals tan cot secant and cos sine and cosecant right so t and t dash are reciprocal so for such an expression for such an expression what will be the minimum value it will be greater than or equal to 2 times root a b what is root a b a and b are the coefficients root a b is the geometric mean and this two we are getting from the denominator of the arithmetic mean right so the minimum value will be you know it is greater than or equal to 2 root a b so minimum value can be taken as 2 root a b all right so just keep this point in mind right and, and the most important point as i've mentioned should be about t and t dash these are two trigonometric functions which are reciprocals only then it is possible otherwise we cannot come to any conclusion and this should be plus it cannot be minus right it cannot be minus because if it is minus we cannot calculate the arithmetic mean the whole logic is here about taking this function as by 2 and converting it to arithmetic mean right so if it is minus we cannot uh, come to a conclusion right for so if, if i have to you know just explain this uh, point here with the help of a simple example uh, let's say find the least value of 9 cos square theta or or for that matter 9 cos 2 theta plus uh, 14 secant 2 theta forget about all the process that we followed here the question says find the least value the minimum value of 9 cos 2 theta plus 14 secant 2 theta now cos 2 theta and secant 2 theta are they reciprocals yes cos 2 theta, cos 2 theta can be taken as 1 by secant 2 theta or secant 2 theta can be taken as 1 by cos 2 theta so reciprocal so this condition is satisfied the trigonometric functions are reciprocal what should be the minimum value 2 root a b so we can say the minimum value for this should be equal to 2 into root a b right its minimum value it will be greater than or equal to this indicates it is the minimum value right the minimum value for this one will be 2 times of root 9 into 14 root 9 into 14 what is root 9 into 14 root 126 so the minimum value will be 2 times root 126 so 2 root 126 is the minimum value for 9 cos 2 theta plus 14 secant 2 theta so if you can remember this part of the solution answering the questions will become really very easy what do we get 4 plus 9 13 and this will give us root over 2 into 6 right root over 4 into 9 which is root 36 6 so 2 into 6 12 13 plus 12 25 is the answer right so that's how we can arrive at the least value in a step-by-step -step process